And good evening, everyone. At 6 o'clock, we said no rain for the Owasso Broken Arrow game. It looks like it played out that way. We pointed out on Precision Cast how most of the rain would be north and west of Interstate 44, and it has indeed stayed up there. And we also predicted rain for Bartlesville. And for the most part, it looks like it did rain a little bit in Bartlesville. Right now, the heaviest thunderstorms, northwestern Creek County, westward through Pawnee County, and parts of Osage County up to Chautauqua and Montgomery County. These are moving to the north and to the northeast. Not severe, but some heavy downpours and, of course, some flashes of lightning and some loud thunder from time to time. This uh, storm here moving to the northeast at about 25 miles an hour will affect Cleveland in about 12 minutes and Gray Horse in about 20 minutes as it continues moving up to the north and east. There's also one little isolated thunderstorm down here in LaFleur County. It's an air mass thunderstorm not tied to the cold front. The other showers and thunderstorms are tied to the cold front. In fact, they're behind the front. Look at the temperature contrast right now. Bartlesville is at 66 degrees. Muskogee's at 79. McAllister still at 82. And the winds are still south at Muskogee, east at McAllister, but a stiff north wind at Bartlesville at 13 miles an hour, so a lot cooler. At 11 o'clock, Precision Cast, a little overdoing it just a little bit. It has a, most of the rain right here in Tulsa. I just shift that a little bit to the west. But let's put this into motion going through the overnight hours. And again, if you plan on making an early morning bike ride or run, it's going to be a wet one. And so it might kind of get pushed back or delayed through the first part tomorrow. Headed out to Stillwater to tailgate. It's wet for the most part during the morning hours. Here in Tulsa, 11 a.m. kickoff with OU. Notice just some light rain showers in the area. Cloudy skies, northeast winds at about 11 miles an hour. So the temperature is at kickoff in the upper 60s and probably don't want warm much more than about 72 in the afternoon. We clear off in the evening, but I think that's just simply too late to get the temperatures back up any warmer than about 74 degrees, maybe. So here's the 24 hour forecast. Rainy morning, 66 degrees at 6 a.m. Mid morning, rainy and damp, 64 degrees. We still have some off and on rain showers possible at noon, just 67 at that time. Then mainly gray at 4 p.m., maybe a sliver of sunshine, 72 degrees, clearing skies tomorrow night, 69 at 10 p.m. So here is the TUOU football forecast, 11 a.m. kick time, and we'll put that forecast at 66 degrees, gray, cool, and damp. So it is going to be a cool day out there. If you're headed out to Stillwater, periods of rain, 71 as this game, because it kicks at 2.30, by the time we make it to 4 or 5 o'clock, there's a chance to get that temperature back up to about 71 or 72 degrees. So that'll be good news. Bishop Kelly, the lights are still on, but I think the game's over. Temperature right now, 74 degrees in Tulsa. A north wind at 16 miles an hour. Wow, look at Bartlesville. 66, you fall as at 79, Bristow at 74. Tonight down to 59 at Bartlesville, 66 at Muskogee, 65 at Tahlequah, and 63 at Bristow. And again, rain moving in in the overnight hours. So scattered showers tomorrow at noon, a fall-like feel, a temperature around 68 degrees. And tomorrow afternoon, just 72, gray, cool, and damp with spotty showers. 71 at Mogi tomorrow, but Poto into the mid 80s. And McAllister around 76 degrees here in Tulsa tomorrow. 72, then sunshine 83 on Sunday. Morning low 64 Monday, back up to around 88 degrees. We sneak into the 90s Tuesday and Wednesday. And then if you think tonight's cold front is strong, wait till next week. Thursday 77 and next Friday 70. That's with some sunshine. If we can get stuck in some low gray clouds like I'm rooting for it or something and <laughs> drizzle, we'd have temperatures in the 60s all day long. Um,